Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will see what is DTO. Well, DTO stands for Data Transfer Object. And this is one of the widely used design pattern to transfer the data between client and server. For example, let's say here we have a client and this is the server. And we are going to use DTO to transfer the data between client and server. Well, client can create a DTO object and it will send that DTO object in the HTTP request and server will extract that DTO object from the request and it will use that DTO object. Okay, so this is how client can use the DTO object. A server will create a DTO object and it will send that DTO object in the response of the REST API. So in this way, client and server both can use the DTO object to transfer the data between client and server. And the main advantage of using DTO is that to reduce the number of remote calls. For example, consider we are creating a employee management system application and in employee management system application, we have different entities like, let's say we have first organization, within that we have a list of departments and within a department we have a list of employees. So consider this is the hierarchy in our employee management system project. Next, let's say we develop a couple of REST APIs to return the organization, departments and employees detail. For example, let's say we develop first REST API, it returns the organization details and we develop the second REST API that returns all the organization departments and we develop the third REST API that returns, you know, list of employees. Next, let's say client have a requirement to get the details of organizations, departments and employees. The client will basically make a REST API call to these three REST APIs, isn't it? So instead of making REST API call individually to get the organizations, departments and employees, what we can do is we can create one single REST API that returns the details of organization, departments and employees. For example, consider we have three classes to hold the data of organization, department and employee. For example, we have organization class, department class and employee class. And we will create a one more class that is DTO class. For example, let's say API, you know, response DTO class. So within this DTO class, we can create an object of organization and list of department and then list of employees. Next, we will create a REST API that returns this API response DTO to the client. Okay. And this API response DTO contains the details of organization, list of departments and list of employees. So in this way, we can create a DTO to gather all the related information and send it back to the client. All right. And here client will reduce a number of remote calls. For example, instead of making three REST API calls, client can call this single REST API and it will get all the related information. All right. So this is how we can use DTO transfer object pattern to reduce the number of remote calls from client to server. Okay, and data transfer object pattern is widely used to transfer the data between client and server. And in real time project, we will see a lot of developers will use a DTO pattern to transfer the data between client and server. Okay, and one more important advantage of DTO is that the server can send only the required data to the client. The server don't have to send a whole entity or domain object to the client server can use DTO to transfer the only required amount of data to the client. Alright, so these are the few advantages of using DTO in our projects. Okay, in next lecture, we will see how we can use DTO in a Spring Boot application. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.